good morning from a stormy and wet Suento. We've woken up this morning and, well, actually I woke up in the night to some storms and then this morning we woke up and it is still rainy and windy and it's due to kind of storm and it'll be like this all day. First thing, we are going to take about a 25 minute walk, I think, over to Bagni Regina Giovanna. The pavements are incredibly slippy when they're wet. This is the road we've got to walk on. To be honest, it's not a very nice road. There's, a, there's no real pavement. I have no clue which way I'm supposed to go, but Stephen tells me this way so we're following him. The rain is slowly getting worse. But c'est la vie. Swimming, bathing unsuitable. No lifeguards available. We can walk down though, hey? Let's walk down come away from the road now snuck through that little gate we're not sure whether we were allowed or not but we've come through and we've established that there are some Roman ruins down here I thought maybe there was some Roman ruins and there is like a swimming area but on the sign it said we're not allowed to swim there are so many olive trees on this walk you can see all the nets that they catch all the olives in we're just peering over this wall. This wall? We think we've gone too far. We don't think we should have come through here. I think that's it. Roman villa ruins. It's forbidden to leave the path. Do not go beyond the fence. Oh, should we go left? Should we go right? This is where, yesterday I went to Capri, we went past here on the boat and I was like, oh, there's a little swimming area in here. Take a it says no swimming, but the Italians are swimming, and I think if the Italians are swimming, that means fair game. Whoa, look at this place! Oh, I'm going in there. I think it'll be cold or what? Oh, it's a pretty. Whoa. Oh, they're not Italians, they're English. <laughs> the Italians aren't swimming, the English are. We're making our way across to a little area over here. steps down. Pretty ropey. We are leaving now. That was glorious. Oh yeah, these steps are a bit dodgy. No, no, no. Okay, hang on. I need to put this away. Look at the place. From up here. I think this way is where the Roman villa yeah, they are. This is a bit of a climb. The weather has got much nicer. This what to do on a rainy day is turning into not what to do on a rainy day at all. Just a normal day.
get down there? Look, it's a snake. Oh, how is this like rooms? Oh, there is where we walked through before. Get the big olive grove. Go that way and see. It just leads round. Let's go. Well. Yeah, this is all blocked off. But it was once a Roman villa called Villa de Capo di Sorrento. Uh, oh, bless you. We're gonna go in here, have a little. <laughs> Stephen's just hopped up this wall. Like an old lady. I can't get up. Oh, <laughs> there we go. The noise helps. Whoa, check this out. That's not a good sign. It's crumbling. Oh. Whoa. Oh, so you could get down. Could look in the boat. Yeah, I don't think I'd <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to get back up. This is a pretty cool spot to come and visit, I think. And not too bad to get to. How long do you think it's over oh, Stephen? Twenty five minutes? About a twenty five minute walk from the centre of Santa. Oh look, there's some people down there. It is a bit of a uphill back. We were just saying that we didn't really feel. Are they figs? I think there's maybe fig trees here. I love figs. It smells of figs. Eh, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we were just saying that it's getting so sunny now that we didn't really realise it was a downhill this morning, but oh yeah, it's definitely an uphill on the way back. And now the sun's come out. It's pretty hard work. It is turning into a glorious afternoon. I'm just gonna walk down the main street here in Sorrento. When I saw that the weather was rubbish this morning, I had planned to potentially come here, Cardini de Cadalba. It has big lemon groves. Are they called groves for lemons? I don't know. Um, it has groves, let's say groves. Groves of lemons, <laughs> and then like the, you can walk around the lemon groves, and um, they make their own limoncello there, and I thought that was quite a cool thing to do, because limoncello is huge in this part of the world. <laughs> but now the weather is a bit nicer, to be honest. I think I'm just gonna wander around. This is a nice little peaceful area of Sorrento, away from the hustle and bustle of all the tourists and everything. Just this little green space, this little park. The locals seem to bring their dogs for a walk here. This restaurant here is apparently absolutely amazing. They have like a lemon garden that you eat in. There you go. This is what it looks like. How beautiful is that? They also invented cannelloni at that restaurant back in like 1860 or something like that. If the weather had stayed horrible, that would be a really nice place to go and eat, I reckon. 